Virginia, Lodell Wright, 1951, Barnard College. Barnard set me on a life path of uh, an interest in art that continues to today. Julius Held at Barnard was an extraordinary teacher and charismatic and, uh, and I loved the Renaissance and I did not like contemporary art. A friend of mine um, persuaded me to take a class with Meyer Shapiro at Columbia. From the minute I attended those classes, I was a total convert. I did make a couple of lifelong friends in, in the art department, one being Barbara Novak, who later made history of her own, bringing the world's attention to American art. My friend Mary Elizabeth King was more sophisticated than I was. Dylan Thomas was reading at Columbia, and she said, you've got to come with me and hear this poet. There he was, reading things like, do not go gentle into that good night. Um, it was unbelievable. It was fun to learn about uh, education from the, the other point of view, having been a user, and then, then to be on the other side of the providers. There was a naming opportunity at Barnard Hall, uh, a big uh, lecture classroom. I, I, I didn't want to put my name on it, but uh, Judith Shapiro suggested, how about naming it for a professor? We were all in love with Julius Held and it was an opportunity to express that affection. My granddaughter, Ada Potter, uh, graduated from Barnard, and it was the same year that we gave the uh, Jenny Holzer bench to Barnard, and Jenny Holzer came to graduation that day. The bedazzling and ever beautiful women of Barnard College. I think Barnard always has been staunchly independent. Hooray for Barnard for being a woman's college and long may she live. <laughs>